Hi friends, welcome back to Tutorial Days and in this video uh, you are going to learn this edit section. Okay, we have already worked on add, view and delete. So in this section we will be working on edit part. Okay. So first thing that we need to do is when the user clicks here, the form should come here. Okay. So what we will do, let's uh, add student this section. Let's copy wholly and not wholly actually not render yes why not let's copy from return to return from here to here and let's paste inside here and we will rename it to edit student oh. Yeah, here edit student and the code for edit section we will write here. So, first let's create here new file called uh, edit.php. Okay, and here once again this will be there and the method will be put in here of course db sorry include here db connect something here connect dot php and here will be select a start from registration where id equals to get id before we proceed ahead and yes let's now write ahead so here will be while dollar raise and output and finally echo here this output and that's it in this so now let's check running this page here in browser so what we will do so the file name is edit dot php id equals to one so what's the record id there is no yes there is six id will be six yes <clears throat> so as you can see the data is coming in json format and this data will be passed to here and it should display there okay so now let's get back here and in edit page so first let's import these things use state use effect axios navigate for uh, navigation after updating it should go to list page again oh, let's write here let's history use navigate and then and here everything will be same as before so just copy these this 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 from here to here okay yes let's copy and paste everything here we will delete what is not required okay and copy this one from here yeah let's paste it so this load user everything will be fine inside this load user we will pass the ID right here 
so this will be edit.php and in place of delete we had written here yes yeah, so it will be like this okay <coughs> we will pass here same like this edit that means we are passing the id to our php file so that we will fetch the record from there and set student it's fine and here one more field will be id this time and this one also will be blank because for updating purpose we need id and here everything will be same like before the only thing that we need to change is this one so we can change the name so <coughs> rename it here update and update form update form just name it rename it here as well Measure form 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 yes update form and load user so by this time the data should display here there is something now import export maybe up here so where is the error okay here <coughs> edit student Also, there is something no curly braces i think any is missing this one is ending where i guess one curly braces is missing this curly braces is going there this curly braces is coming this curly braces here this curly braces like this This one is there. This one here is. This one is cost. This one is ending here. I guess there should not be two curly braces here. One curly braces is for update form. be here let's check this is here handle change this is here for update yes this one is for load user yes fine now it says id is not defined yeah of course so we need to pass here this id here inside load user this id will be passing here but for that we need to fetch the id and this id will come from here let's try it here huge params okay id that means to fetch this id oh when we click this this id okay huge params that means if you want to fetch this id into your application then you need to use this huge params so have yes that is why we have used here huge params to get this id now we are passing this id uh, here to here so we can write here php id equals to uh, equals to simply plus id we have written here like this for sharma php id now let's try 
So is the data coming here? Network chip, how it's passing? It's going to So data is not coming. Why? Okay, this load users, I guess I have not called it anywhere. Use effect, we need use effect also here. So use effect. And then we need to load this load users and here <coughs> square bracket that means it will load only once one means when the user when the page refreshes then only one time and it, this uh, huge effect will not run on button click or any other action so there is something wrong I guess in edit section there is no records only directly we are fetching data so I think it should be enough but the data is still not coming is it coming let's check Refresh and then oh, it's saying undefined. That means ID is not passing here. Undefined. So, why it's undefined? So, let's check here if the ID is coming or not. Console.log. Yes, the ID is coming here, right? The ID 6 is coming here. So then why it's showing undefined there? The same ID we are passing. So let me write here console.log. ID here to check if the data is coming or not. Yeah, it's coming here undefined. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's simply delete this and directly we can access this ID. Then does it come? No, it's not coming still. Yeah, it's coming here, but now yeah, it's coming here, right? So if you check in the network now, then yeah, it's passing the ID now. So if you click response, yes, yeah, so there is undefined fraud price. Okay, there is something wrong in our php okay so first name this product i just copied paste that's why it is here last name id and email so now it should work if you click now yes so as you can see now the data is coming here right so whichever we click for example if you click on this one then the details of this one is coming if we click on this one the detail is coming so the now the task is remaining when we click on this update so let's change the button name here here 
here update update student okay so now let's create a file update okay inside update same thing will be here and here the method will put save so update.php update.php okay and here db connect so db connect and then just json decode json data and then id we will fetch first name last name email and here update code so here update registration set first name first name last name last name email email and if everything is fine then here once again if dollar result result then dollar result then response valid or invalid same like insert okay so now this one is complete and try to updating here what happens let's see okay but after changing we can test it so Ramesh comes update yes the data is being updated Ramia Kumar email ID comes update data is updating perfectly so guys as you can see we have successfully completed add record add new record view the list delete edit and after this update so this way we have successfully completed this so let's recap this code once again we have imported their huge effect uh, huge effect huge state which params which navigate this one you for navigation that means we are retracting error you same is d dot back then after a checking that it's going back to list page and uh, this one this function is for updating the data this one is for handle change we have already discussed about this in uh, insert section huge effect is for loading the data when the page loads and this one is for initial data blank and huge params for getting parameter and the rest of the things is same as insert page there is no any change in this so in case if you have not watched insert page at add student section then please watch first that then you will be able to understand it properly so hope you like this video and this is useful for as well in case you like please don't forget to subscribe and also uh, press the bell button so thanks for watching bye bye